is uranium. The radioactive rays from this ore move the needle of a scintillator to the maximum reading. Uranium is the basis of atomic power. It is vital to the national defense and to health and industry. As a source of commercial power, two ounces of uranium-235 can produce as much electrical energy as 800 carloads of coal. The atom has opened a vast new horizon to the world. This is a Geiger counter. This is a scintillator, a far more sensitive instrument than the Geiger counter. These are the two principal types of uranium prospecting instruments. In hunting uranium, luck favors the amateur. Many families spend their weekends prospecting. To thousands, this spare time hobby has proved extremely profitable. Hunters, fishermen, vacationers are making uranium detection instruments a part of their outdoor equipment because uranium is a hundred times more plentiful than gold and has been found in most of the 48 states. The uranium hunter does not have to be a geologist or mining engineer, nor does he work alone. The Atomic Energy Commission and U.S. Geological Survey are eager to furnish information that will aid in the uncovering of new ore bodies. They will even tell the prospector exactly where to look. These samples will be sent to the Atomic Energy Commission for free assay. If the ore is promising, the Atomic Energy Commission will help this prospector in many ways. The Atomic Energy Commission pays a bonus of up to $35,000 for uranium. The bonus is in addition to the price paid for the ore. Grade premiums are paid for high-grade uranium ores. Millions of dollars in bonuses have been shared by thousands of people. The mine owner receives a mine development allowance of 50 cents per pound of uranium. The Atomic Energy Commission will also pay a haulage allowance of 6 cents per ton mile up to 100 miles to help meet the cost of hauling the ore to the mill. The prospector who is not interested in developing his claim personally can find a ready market for it. Fortunes have been paid for undeveloped uranium claims. Blanton Burford of Dallas, Texas, another amateur prospector, made $4 million in one year on the sale of some of his claims. This man did not have to go far to find a fortune. He decided he would survey his own property. He ordered a scintillator from a Los Angeles manufacturer and eagerly awaited the arrival of the postman. This man can forget the farm if he wants to. He has a fortune in uranium. A grandmother in Arizona remembered some petrified trees she had seen on a hiking trip. She learned that uranium is often found in petrified wood. Amounts as high as $40,000 have been paid for a petrified tree. The simplicity of operating uranium detection equipment makes prospecting possible for anyone capable of turning a switch, young and old alike. There is no limit to the number of claims an individual can stake. Many big strikes have been made by making surveys with a helicopter or small plane. The helicopter is capable of going any place. 
It is ideal for prospecting in accessible places. Many small plane owners are now prospecting for uranium from the air. This sensitive scintillator will indicate desirable areas to stake. Today, prospecting is often a family venture and can be a lot of fun. The day of the lonely prospector is gone. Groups have been formed in many localities. Friends meet to discuss uranium hunting and to compare ore samples and the latest equipment for prospecting. Claims may be staked on public lands or in national forests. 562 million acres of the land area of the U.S. is open for claiming. Prospecting on privately owned land can be done with permission of the owner. A single claim may not exceed 1,500 feet by 600 feet. There is no limit to the number of claims an individual may stake. To properly stake a claim, a stake or post is placed at each corner and a rock monument containing the location notice is erected in the center. A claim notice must establish by survey or landmarks the exact location of the claim. A copy of the location notice should be filed immediately with a county recorder in the county where the discovery is made. The fee is usually about one dollar. After a location is filed, the claim can be held indefinitely provided at least one hundred dollars worth of work is done each year for the first five years. This investment of one dollar and the required annual labor gives the individual ownership of his claims plus the value of all minerals. When the boys in the garage heard that Jim was going on his vacation, the three of them got together and bought a scintillator. They appointed Jim official prospector and crossed their fingers. Jim spent all of his vacation time prospecting. He never did come back to the garage from that vacation. His two friends are also missing. They are all in the uranium business. This is Betty. Betty works in an office as a secretary. She loves the outdoors. She read about uranium and sent for further information. She read the Atomic Energy Commission booklet, Prospecting for Uranium, a commercial catalog, and some mining publications. Betty and her boyfriend decided to go prospecting. Her steady date supplies the transportation, she the prospecting equipment. The merging of their assets has every indication of being profitable. Prospectors also discover the untold beauty that is America. There are vast areas in the U.S. that have not been prospected for uranium. Many valuable uranium deposits have been overlooked by individuals without the right kind of equipment. Properly equipped, 
even a small boy can locate uranium deposits. The Earth has revealed only a small fraction of its store of uranium. Fortunes are made overnight. This family has struck pay dirt. The Cinderella story is repeated again and again. Thousands of people are becoming rich almost overnight. The United States is now the world's second largest producer of uranium. It may soon be the first. Uranium has been discovered in most of the 48 states. New strikes are being reported daily. Equipped with modern precision uranium detection instruments, John Q. Public is making our country rich in uranium and at the same time enjoying a new, healthy national pastime.